Let's speak for a while about non-melanoma skin cancer. What's new under the sun? Let's say, um, well, the word, uh, the word uh, non-melanoma skin cancer includes a lot of different uh, skin neoplasias. Of course, we include, first of all, BCC, basal cell carcinoma, and squamous cell carcinoma. These are the two most common, most frequent skin cancer uh, that we uh, know very well are affecting uh, millions of people all around the world. But of course, it's not only uh, concerning basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas. We know that there are other um, uh, skin tumors, malignant skin tumors like lymphomas, primary cutaneous lymphomas, Merkel cell carcinoma, dermatofibrosarcoma, protuberans, uh, malignant adnexal tumors. So we have a large variety of malignancies. But let's keep concentrated on the two most common non-melanoma skin cancer Answer, namely basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. Um, the introduction of thermoscopy definitely has changed dramatically the ability of clinicians to recognize um, uh, basal cell carcinoma, especially in the pigmented variant as you can see here. It's extremely, extremely easy because of these uh, blue-gray uh, uh, islands of pigment, especially seen at the periphery. Uh, this kind of periphery was called leaf-like areas. Uh, in addition, we have arborizing vessels and multiple ulcerations uh, as you can see in this case. What I wanted to share with you is that not only today we are able to recognize basal cell carcinoma much more, with much more confidence, but also we are able to differentiate between a superficial BCC versus a nodular and more infiltrative BCC because of the different demoscopic fi findings. So with, in superficial BCC, we see more frequently thin vessels, brown and gray color, eh? remember, and small multiple ulcerations. Vice versa, in nodular and infiltrative BCC, you see thicker vessels, you see much more blue color, and you see larger uh, ulceration, okay? Here you can see a, uh, a difference between a nodular BCC, larger arborizing vessels, and uh, blue-gray ovoid nests, as you can see here on the left side, while this is on the right side, it's a superficial BCC because of the brown-gray color, the brown-gray streaks at the periphery, and the leaf-like areas. Eh? So, what about the clinical uh, recognition of this BCC? Is this superficial or infiltrative? Well, in my estimation, clinically is more of the superficial type, but if we see carefully in the dermoscopy, we see large arborizing vessels and bigger ulcerations. So therefore, this could be much more uh, easily an infiltrative type of a BCC. Uh, there is also another application of dermoscopy which I find extremely useful before the surgery. Eh? Uh, very often clinically it's not so easy to identify the borders of the lesion before surgery. If we use dermoscopy we are able to identify much more clearly uh, the borders of the lesion and in this particular case we identified that there is a small island of a uh, 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 let's say kind of this satellite BCC. Uh, therefore, we are much more um, uh, able to uh, to perform a, a complete surgery uh, with a complete excision of the tumor. Finally, concerning dermoscopy, I wanted to mention to you uh, this kind of application, this kind of discovery we did uh, a few years ago. Uh, we uh, identified that there is one most important criterion predicting the response of, uh, of, uh, of a BCC treated with imikimod, topical imikimod. And this is the presence of multiple erosions. If we have ulceration, if we have multiple erosions, then it's a, there is a higher chance that this lesion should, could be treated efficiently with imikimod. So, for example, here you can see a superficial BCC with multiple erosions. Clearly, this lesion is going pretty well with, uh, with the use of imikimod. But if you look at this lesion clinically, you, see, you say, come on, it's a nodular BCC. We, we, we could not uh, treat this lesion with imikimod. But 
if the patient is very old and if the patient is refusing surgery, since there is multiple alterations, as you can see in, from, from the clinical, then you can predict that the treatment will be efficient. Look at the, uh, at the heavy reaction after three weeks of treatment, and this is the result after six weeks of treatment.